Hi kitties, welcome to Spirit Kitty Tarot. This is an art sign reading and uh, we're starting off with Taurus. You can check out your timestamps down below. Mm. 2023, how is it looking for you Taurus? Mm. Okay, so we are starting off with Seven of Cups and the Stars together. This looks like... Mm. I don't think that it is a breakup and I don't think it's um, it might be an ongoing on and off relationship it's uh, it's never really off though you might be hmm. I don't really think that there is an active even off there I think there is a you just don't really get around to meeting each other that often if that makes sense um it's uh, with the star card although you do hope to meet this person more often and you want to get to know them with the four of pentacles there is still hope yet that this person will come around hmm. what are they gonna come around to they're busy making money and when they are stable enough there is hope that they will come around to being more open to this connection with the world card and with the ten of swords together we have mm. so it seems that you want a new beginning you want this year to come with a new start and you want this person as well to realize what they have although you're kind of losing you're kind of losing this what are you losing it, it's kind of confusing because i see you letting go of this person while you don't really let go of them so i think you are letting go of expectations that this person will come around to giving you as much affection as you want to give to them and with the high priestess there is also hmm, there is still a, patern a paternal figure here and in this scenario, um, in this dynamic, this maybe it's a mother-in-law, maybe it's, uh, it's this person's um, mom <laughs> and this person is kind of reigning the whole thing and she's kind of in control with the chariot. There is also not really hope that you guys will be meeting each other right now and they might have made plans to come to you perhaps or travel but that kind of changed something came up and with the temperance you are being um, made to wait for this person so with the knight of wands and the sun hmm, i'm holding the deck in reverse so all right so it seems that this person possibly might be a fire sign and if they're not it just seems that you might have this fire energy and you want them to you wanted them to come to you but eventually you are kind of giving up not really completely but you're kind of pacifying yourself and realizing that you have to wait for this person um, I think there's a commitment. It's, it might be an engagement possibly because you feel fully committed to this person without really um, giving that those um, that energy of this being a very loving romantic relationship, but you hope that that will happen. You hope that that will eventually come about. With the six of swords in reverse, there is it looks like while they're busy away and um, they're busy spending um, their life trying to earn money or um, in their career they're trying to progress you are kind of stuck and you have nothing to do right now rather than just wait for things to happen um, with the wheel card there is also we also have luck this year for you things are going to definitely turn 
um, the, sc the spokes of luck, the wheel of fortune, it's definitely going to turn for you for your favor um, this year. And with the Hierophant, there is also someone. Mm, I don't think it's a father person, but it's a <laughs> it's not a paternal figure. But even although it does look like it, it looks like someone who's masculine energy who is wise and you you're not really seeking their advice and you're not really going to them but this person kind of comes to check in on you so this person you are not mm, you're not really that close to either but mm, i don't really think that this person is their family or even your father or your brother i think there are some maybe an extended family person mm -hmm. i don't know why i'm focusing on this person so much but the nine of swords it's um mm. okay so the difficulties have definitely been around you for some time in this past year and uh, it's definitely gonna turn because we have the nine of swords and it's gonna turn to 10 in this year and it's definitely looking like you have um, had enough waiting and um, waiting for things to um, happen for you you are gonna make them happen this year and with the ten of pentacles there is also money that's gonna start flowing in um, if it was still flowing in before it's gonna be more this year with the two of pentacles there's also um it also seems that you are balancing you're trying to balance your work life and your romantic life and um, it does look like you will be able to do that you, you you'll be able to successfully juggle those things equally and with the lowers card hmm. this year we definitely see this person coming to approach you and this person definitely looks like they have been harboring all of those feelings that you've had for them but they were never really that communicative about it with the queen of pentacles taurus it is mm. okay with the queen of pentacles it does seem like you are able to in the middle of this year you are able to be financially strong enough that you start planning things when it comes to um, spending your savings you are able to do that because you will have enough of it with the queen of swords there is also mm, there's also a need to plan at the current moment for your future self and um, make um, one year plans or so so um, it does seem that you are going to be more active in planning ahead this year and with the ace of cups there is also looking like love is around you and you are able to give in to love this year if that makes sense with the tower moment there is hmm. okay all right so this is kind of tricky the person that you want to be with, the person that you've ex been expecting that um, you will have this very long um, lasting love with, this person, they might not be the right person for you. And this year, it looks like you will eventually realize that. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> with the Eight of Pentacles and in um with the knight of swords there is also hmm. okay so there definitely it definitely looks like you will realize your own worth and you will start um practicing wanting to gain more independence doesn't really mean financially but also emotionally you realize that this person hasn't been giving you all of the things that you've been putting out so there hasn't been equal reciprocity and giving take and we also start to realize in this year that even though 
this person hasn't been giving us all of that um, the things that we just mentioned it also um, might not be their fault you realize and you sympathize with them they've had a difficult time as well this past year and um, while you are open to this person still you do realize that there has to be some boundaries in place you need to have a certain um, um, threshold that you there there's a certain amount of red flags that you can take um, <laughs> again if that makes sense with the line as its protection you need to protect yourself from connections that are not really beneficial to you they might not be serving you and with the jaguar there is release that comes with letting go of things that are not serving us so there you have it and we are now moving on to um, virgo Okay, Virgo, what do we have for you? Hmm. Okay, so we kind of have had a conflict in the past year and it looks like there was um, not really that peace, <laughs> uh, that, that much peace around you. There were people that you care for. They weren't really getting along and you've had a difficult time dealing with all of them and uh, I don't think you were the mediator and I don't think you were the offender I think you were just kind of involved with um, all of the drama because it kind of enveloped you and you were somehow a part of it with the hanged man there is also you're taking time away from over exerting yourself with these people that might not have made sense but um you don't want to give in to all of the negativity perhaps this that there's there has been around you or people that <laughs> you're close to have been practicing there is also um there are things that you want in this year that are definitely quite positive and they're about you they want you want life to be different now for you and with the two of chalices in reverse it looks like there has been a lack of communication with someone that you were very close to maybe you still are but you feel that this person hasn't been um, that connected to you or maybe you have drifted, drifted apart so there is some um, the distance between you two and so this person was your confidant to you kind of confided in this person a whole lot you were talking to them whenever you needed someone to talk to and with the king of wands in reverse it also looks like you're not going to be taking the initiative when it comes to patching this up things up or resolving things with this person and with the king of swords you eventually do you eventually do take um on the to communicate with this person but your approach isn't really all that direct i think you approach it in a way that doesn't really convey how you're feeling rather it's um i don't want to say aggressive but i think it's it's assertive you are commanding perhaps even and uh, so it would be beneficial if you talked about how you felt everything um, that you've been feeling and really rather communicate better rather than having that approach where you just um, demand that they talk to you because that won't, won't really resolve anything that won't really lead to this connection becoming more stronger it would just be you are commanding them to yeah <laughs> With the Sun card, there is also quite a lot of positivity that you're summoning for yourself. And uh, even though it might not have looked 
all that positive for you in the recent past you want it to change and with the name of knave of swords it does look like you are going to initiate and um good things in your life you want things to happen again be it said that but there is some new prospects there are new prospects that you are trying to take on and you want to be firm with yourself that you will do this this year and with the ten of wands there is movement we might be moving to possibly a new place if it's not um, another city or country it might be that you might be changing jobs and uh, it's not just a change of perspective it is definitely a physical move somehow and with the knave of swords there is also hmm. okay so it looks like there is another connection that is kind of going awry this person is uh, they're not really again that communicative and it's it might also be that you feel a one-sided i don't want to say love but i think it's attraction you might be in in an unrequited kind of a situation and you want you kind of want to manifest this person to come around to communicate with you and while you are looking into everything that they're doing you're not really directly communicating hmm all right so that makes sense um what i'm getting is that there has been some things and they they weren't really into it they weren't really into you possibly and uh so that's why you're not really communicating directly you're not really reaching out you're just on the lookout for everything and you want them to come around with the world card it looks as if you want the world to <laughs> bring them to you but also of course there is a new chapter of life that is starting for you and you want things to take <laughs> a different turn but if you don't change this is definitely looking like you might be repeating this past year things that have happened because um if you don't change things won't change and with the seven of pentacles there is growth in your finances it looks like you might be doing um the right kind of jobs perhaps or projects things that really grow your finances and when it comes to work you are able to have good relationships there as well with the five of pentacles it looks like you are hung up on that person that is kind of looking like they they're someone that got away and with the nine of swords it looks definitely like they are a big um, reason for you feeling that you are not able to give all of yourself into bringing good things to yourself um i don't know why that is i don't know why you are so hung up on this person when they're not really looking to be with you and of course that's me putting it nicely because if <laughs> i i can read the cards right there has been something that has happened and you were kind of not great <laughs> there was something that you did and they were put off because of it so yeah so might might benefit from redirecting your approach and maybe backing off and with the king of chalices it looks like so of course that doesn't really mean that was what i just said was for everyone but for the maybe the one person out there who needs to hear that i hope you take my word seriously but the king of chalices there is hmm, a pisces person maybe a water sign perhaps but this person is actually into you and if you play your cards right this person can be with you this year and with the high priestess it also seems that your hmm, 
when it comes to this new connection, this may be a water sign, um, my don't really have, they don't need to have, <laughs> they don't need to be a water sign, but if they are, then <laughs> this might be the person. And with the ivory steps, it looks like mm, you want to have this connection and your higher self is telling you that you should, but, oh, okay. Why are we still hung up on that past connection? I don't know. I really don't know. Please comment <laughs> your reason for doing that. And with the Four of Swords, there is a... Uh, mm -hmm. All right. So <laughs> we take time away from our own mind. <laughs> and we want a break from everything that we are thinking. We cannot stop thinking about this person and we want to stop. We are trying to manifest a new change, a new start, and we want this year to look differently. And we do want to get over this person. Okay, so with the three of wands, it also seems that you might have more than one option this year, and you might not be into all of them. <laughs> okay. So good on you. You you have so much <laughs> love coming into you. Um, right. <laughs> With the Knight of Wands, there is a fire sign possibly or someone who has that energy, who's very much charismatic and this person wants you. They want <laughs> to be around you. They want to take you out. They want um, to <laughs> um, date you. They they're very much they're not really aggressive they are very direct they know what they want and they tell you exactly what they want all right so this is getting spicy all right with eight of wands it looks like you are having a back and forth of communication we are just getting it on with this person we <laughs> we are texting them back and forth all right we had the devil oh so this is someone you are very much attracted to and it's very passionate it's very physically <laughs> um stimulating this person is very attractive to you but we had the devil that means that this connection isn't really um more than the physical attraction and with the Wheel of Fortune, of course, I don't want to stop this reading because it's getting so juicy, but it seems like I have to. With the Wheel card, there is, um, all right, it looks like definitely things are going to look up and you will feel good about yourself in this year. This person makes you feel good about yourself. And even though may, this might not become something long term, you want to enjoy it and you should definitely go for it. With the four of chalices, it also seems that you are finally going to be able to let go of this past person. And with the ace of chalices, we have the cup of love arriving in this year. All right, so we finally find someone we can be with in the long term. All right, <laughs> so a lot of romance going on. With the dear power, it looks like you want things to take a turn for the better and you want to be able to be there for yourself. You feel that you need um, emotional independence, which you didn't, you might feel that you didn't have in the past year. And mm, you want to see beyond the physical. You want to see beyond um, the, the just what's in front of you but you kind of attracted to who you're attracted to you're attracted to the physical <laughs> so okay all right we're going to move on to capricorn but this was very fun <laughs> this was a super fun reading all right capricorn i hope yours is half as hilarious as virgo's was all right Hmm, okay. <laughs> mm. 
so Capricorn, you are starting off with that big, <laughs> big wiener energy and <laughs> the seven of pentacles. It also seems that you want to be financially stable this year. This is the year for you. You are going to be working hard. You're going to work your booty off to get all of that coin. And with the eight of pentacles, it seems that you're very good at what you do. You are taking on the things that you know will make money for you. And with the Six of Swords, it seems that we have... Hmm. <laughs> when it comes to work, we want to be professional. We want to be that boss person. <laughs> but... Hmm. All right. You might have a work crush kind of a little bit but you're not really taking it seriously you don't want this person to find out that you feel something for them but it does make your day good you like working <laughs> you like going to work because of it and that you want to take advantage of that crush because it's helping you sustain those bags with three or four <laughs> it mm, all right with the Three of Wands, it seems that there has been people that want your attention, but you've been you've been putting it off. You don't want to be with people. You don't want to be with someone this year, and you just want to work, and you want to spend time doing what you love. There's one aspect of it is work, and then there's another thing that you are doing on the side that really fulfills you. And you want to keep this pace up with the king of pentacles there is someone who is very much into you this person is financially stable this person has the coins flashing in your face this person <laughs> wants you to take you out they want to treat you right with the, <laughs> with the wheel of fortune it looks like this is looking very fun <laughs> this year all right this this has been a blast. Earth signs, you are getting it this year. <laughs> With the Wheel of Fortune, you have luck on your side this year. And it also seems that even though with the Fool, you are going to be optimistic, you're going to be, you're going to be looking up um, new things and taking leaps of faith. It doesn't seem that that's a bad decision to make this year. It looks like you are going to be fine if you take leaps of faith not to say that there are legal things that you should be doing it's just that if you have some creative outlet that you want to be pursuing on the side and it feels that it's somewhat risky if you do it right if you take um, the right measures and you weigh the pros and cons right so just don't take risks that big just Thing, things that you want to be doing and you've been putting off because of reasons. <laughs> so with the star card, it also seems that we have... Hmm, all right. We want to be intimate. We want to be loved. We want to have relationships. But with the devil, in the past, there has been people that have really messed with our heads. And uh, because of that... You are not able to move forward with any relationship when someone new comes along. You want to be able to give them the cup of love, but you pull back because you don't really know them that well. And then you go on to know them, but then it's just this person. I don't know. <laughs> the people that are around you and they want to be with you, you are just pulling back because you give yourself time to be cooled off, if that makes sense. Capricorn, I think I know you. <laughs> and if I do know you, I think that's something Capricorns can do. You put it, put it off until you feel that you can be calm about around this person. <laughs> Not every Capricorn, but some of you. With the two of wands, it is... Uh, Hmm. All right. <laughs> Interesting. So we have two options in love. And we're kind of iffy about both of them. 
we don't really care about either of them but we think that maybe we should keep one of them around but then we think that okay the other person has some good qualities as well maybe i should keep both of them around maybe i shouldn't keep either of them around so <laughs> these kind of <laughs> conversations are happening in your head and with the strength card it looks like we have uh, hmm, we're gonna have a very good time this year dealing with a lot of things we're gonna process things in due time and we're gonna be able to handle um, difficulties that come your way you will have nostalgic feelings about someone maybe in the past this person has been someone you've cared very deeply about and you might take time away from your busy busy schedule which you keep busy you might take time away from that to think about this person and reminisce but that's kind of all you want to do you don't really want more than that you're happy to reminisce and you're happy to think about the good times that you've had with the high priestess there is definitely your higher self giving you a lot of good advice this year it is telling you to embrace good things different changes that you have to make to yourself and your approaches to things that you need to um there might be signs out there for you to give yourself that leap of faith when it comes to the right things and when just trust your intuition really with the page of cups there is definitely a love offer this year that's very eager to pursue you this person is although they're very much eager but they still respect your boundaries they are very much giving you that you can see this card that it is giving you the invite if you want to take <laughs> this further you can and if you don't they're gonna respect you and they're gonna respect your boundaries and they're gonna back away so this seems like a good romantic prospect for you with the ace of swords it also seems that you are very much clinical about whether you want to take on this connection and you choose to not be with them all right with the page of swords it seems that you're just about the work this year and you're just about your maybe you are a creative person maybe you want to do your art maybe you want to pursue the thing that you love a passion of yours and also sustain those bags we have a lot of love offers coming in people are just very much attracted to you and they are hungry for your love so this person comes again and i think it's the same page of cups this time their approach is different this time they tell you that they do want you and they want you to give in to the feelings that you have for this person okay <laughs> it is up to you to decide <laughs> i'm not gonna draw more cards because you have too many options and you're like i'm gonna pull away i'm gonna give in like choose <laughs> okay with the red crowned crane it seems we want loyalty in relationships if we have loyalty it is going to be someone um the prospects that we have it seems that you want the one of them you want them to be very loyal to you so you can give in so you want to be with one of them but it seems that you are just testing the waters you want to see how they are and it's not that you're testing them it just seems that you really want to get to know them and how they um hmm. okay so this is a very weird maybe sentence that's coming into your my mind it seems that you want to scrutinize them under a microscopic lens hmm. it might not be as bad as it sounds it just means that in your past you have just experienced not that great relationships and you just want to be more cautious so you're not really going to be testing them and you're going to be giving them a difficult time it just seems that you want to get a lay of the land so to speak so we are wrapping up and i hope this was a good reading for you it was very fun for me for once this was very fun and i hope this year brings you all the good things that you have been hoping for and please like share and subscribe it helps 
tremendously you have no idea you can follow me on instagram spirit kitty tarot by the same name it'll be given in the description box i'm also doing a podcast on the side which is art of murder if you are into um, mysteries you can check that out i also post on my instagram my writing so maybe you want to check that out so have a great day bye bye